First responders around the metro getting ready for that potential for more wildfires tomorrow. That's right. Fox 25's David Chasanoff joining us live from Guthrie. And David, how is the fire department preparing there for this? Yeah, Adam and Wendy, Chief Harlow tells me tomorrow is going to be very similar to last Friday, making this an all hands on deck situation. Tomorrow is going to be very crucial, just like Friday. On March 31st, Chief Harlow says Guthrie Fire Department saw nearly 50 occupied buildings east of I-35 on fire. Don't have any numbers from the west side of the highway yet, but uh, unfortunately, I'm going to guess we're going to be 75 plus occupied structures before it's said and done and a whole slew of outbuildings and storage buildings beyond that. To make sure tomorrow isn't as bad as last Friday, Harlow says GFD will have extra crews working. Really, it's just trying to amass enough resources quickly. Uh, you know, that fire Friday moved so quick uh, and so fiercely that it was hard to get trucks anywhere close to the front of it. From a local level to a statewide effort, the Oklahoma Forestry Services says it has rangers in several towns across the state. So we are uh, bracing ourselves as emergency responders uh, in the event of uh, that we do get this uh, very uh, dangerous wildfire type of situation tomorrow. Drew Daly says everyone needs to do their part tomorrow to keep things under control, including you. We just encourage folks to take every precaution they can to prevent a wildfire. And Chief Harlow tells me to tomorrow before noon, several fire agencies in Logan County will drop off a fire truck right here at GFD. Reporting live in Guthrie, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.